Hey, this is Chad Wyatt, and I just posted an update to the Rep Agent WordPress plugin. Uh, many of you have been waiting for an update to allow for Google reviews to be added back into the plugin. Uh, Google uh, last year made some changes that made pulling uh, their reviews much more difficult. So, uh, however, they had since also released a Google Places, <coughs> excuse me, a Google Places API that allows you to pull up to the last five reviews for that business. So um, we don't necessarily get all the reviews, but we will get the last up to five. So um, the way, what you need to do is if you already have it installed in WordPress, if you go to your updates section, there's a couple ways to get there. If you see this little update notification here, or under your dashboard, you can go to updates. Either way, when you go there, you should see that there's now update uh, 1.31 available. Okay, so um, if you just check the box to update that one and hit update plugins, the rep agent update will be updated automatically. And now if we go in here, I'll show you some of the changes. There are a couple changes. If we go to this listing here, um, there's a new field right here so most of the time the phone number will work and you will automatically be able to pull your Google reviews based on that um, if if you're having trouble seeing the Google reviews uh, or it's pulling the wrong ones maybe there's multiple locations or I don't know uh, you can enter as more specific query here so uh, for example Big Air Jumpers is located in Colorado Springs, but they also have locations in Denver and Fort Collins. So we want to make sure we hit the one in Colorado Springs. We could just add <clears throat> that query here if we're having you know, trouble getting the right reviews. All right, so um, there's that now. Uh, also, some t in order to see the reviews, you might not see them right away um, after you make the update, or uh, you you'll need to hit the update button. So if you make even if you haven't made any changes, go ahead and hit update. What that'll do is it'll force it to pull the latest reviews um, from from uh, all the sites. Okay, so that's really the only change from this point of view. However, uh, something else that you have to do before you can see any of the reviews is you need to enter um, a uh, your Google Places API key from Google. So what the way you do that is you go into your profile your user profile so we go here and uh, at the toward the bottom you should see rep agent Google uh, key alright so this is Google API key and you just put it in there now let me show you real quick where to get that okay so I'm in the Google here's the Google API uh, dashboard and you go I'll provide a link in the video description on YouTube or um, somewhere on a web page maybe the download page but it's uh, code.google.com slash apis slash console when you do that you might have to do some activation you might have to create a project give your project a name it could be called anything you want but uh, when you do that you'll then under services you'll see all the different uh, Google APIs that you can use the one that we want is the places API so we need to click to turn that on the other thing we need to do is um, we're limited to a thousand requests a day um, for free without any further identify, you know, uh, verification. In order to make that, to increase that limit, we to up to a hundred thousand a day. Again, it's free, but you do need to go into your account and you have to verify your identity with a uh, credit card. So if you just click on the pricing and go go through the instructions, you can add a credit card. It's I think they verify it with like a dollar or something like that. That actually I think gets added back to your card. So it's just to make sure you're not I guess abusing uh, the system or whatever. But uh, once you do that, you have a hundred thousand limit. It takes sometimes it'll take about thirty minutes for that to activate uh, to limit to increase. But once you do that, then you go into API access. And on the API access page, you'll see your key. And that's the key you grab and you paste into your into your user profile. Update your profile. Once you do that, 
everything should start working on your rep agent uh, plugin f as far as Google is concerned. So um, that is it for the updates. Uh, we're limited to the top five reviews, but uh, that gets you know, the, the last five. Those are the ones that show up on their Google uh, profile by default anyway. So um, those are usually the most important reviews. So if you have a negative review pop up in there, then definitely the client's going to want to know about that um, right away so I can uh, address that. So, okay, well, thanks for checking it out, and um, hopefully this update will help uh, help uh, get those Google reviews back in and gain some more clients. Thanks a lot.